Welcome to PWCI. This week I'm the Met Conservative Crime Fighter and you knew this team up was going to happen sooner or later. Savannah Stone, Rain Victoria, best frenemies team up finally for the first time in tag team action as the Golden Unit. Here comes their opponents. Tootie Lynn Ramsey and Cameron Renee. Team Babe, I guess, is what they're going by. Van Stone and Rain Victoria have been uh, rivals ever since they began. And they kind of remind me they have the same vibe as the uh, Minnesota Home Wrecking Crew. Famous tag team of uh, Lacey and Rain, aka Peyton Banks, in the they were a tag team in coming out of Minnesota for about a decade ago. Van Stone and Rain Victoria kind of remind me of that duo. Of course, both are just uh, Peyton Banks. Rain is still active in. Uh, Professional wrestler Lacey Long retired. Now Tootie Lynn Ramsey going to start off with Savannah Stone after uh, they were jumped at right before they entered the ring. To the going to the top. Arm drag off the top. And Savannah going to go to the outside. Tries to take Brene up down. And Sends her over the top, flips her back into the rain, and Rain jumps back into the ring, and Ref has got his hands full here. And Tootie kicks Savannah away, flings off Rain, duck under, Tootie to the t middle rope, gets caught. It. Off the ropes, flying head scissors, and Savannah rolls to her corner and tags out. And Brene comes in, takes down Victoria. F Sto, drop kick. Cover and only a two count. Green Victoria sent to the corner. Tootie comes in. Elbow. Today continues the assault and. Rain Victoria snapmared out of the corner and only a two count. Look out. Oh, Victoria. Snapmare. And two. Brene is out of now the Kansas City area. Ray Victoria flings Tootie in the corner. Well, I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. That is this weekend. There's only a couple of shows going on this weekend. The Missouri Wrestling Alliance in uh, St. Louis, Missouri on the 24th. And then WWE coming to Bloomington on the 25th at the Pennsylvania Motors Arena. As the Golden Unit double teams Tootie in the corner. And Brene trying to get in to help her partner. But referee sends him out. We're at Pro Wrestling Epic in Brownstown, Illinois for the uh, yearly event that happens here 
Pulis, the epic uh, pretty much only runs once a year now. Back last year, it was supposed to be the final epic event, but it was brought back one more year. This event was co-promoted to some extent with uh, wrestling over everything. That's why you're seeing the W-O-E logo on the ring apron. But that was the ring used for this event. Last year, it was co-promoted with uh, Dynamo Pro Wrestling. Wade takes down Ramsey with a flatliner, double drop kick, and Savannah cover. Two count. One end of December, World League Wrestling in Troy, Missouri on the first. World Powerhouse Wrestling in Collinsville on the first. Wrestling Over Everything will be having their next show on on December the 2nd in Cahokia slash Centerville at the River's Edge Community Center. And Savannah sent into the corner, but Tootie, Tootie should have took, Tootie should have tagged out. She had a chance to tag out and she chose to stay in there to do some offense to Savannah Stone and now she's in trouble again. And Tootie tries to flip over, but now Rain Victoria Breaks up whatever Tiggy Lynn Ramsey had in mind. And she is in trouble again. Oh, Savannah not paying attention. Oh, that was close. Now Brene comes in. She finally saw an opportunity to run in. To get around the referee. But Savannah takes out. Renee and a baseball slide and down on gym floor as Ray Victoria continues the assault on Tootie Lynn Ramsey, sends her in the corner. Then just back in, splash. The golden unit has Tootie. Oh, she got out of that playing ancestors. Ray Victoria, though, still in the ring. Cuts off that assault. Renee grabs a hold of Savannah, but look at Wayne. Suicide dive. Takes out her partner and her opponent. The other show happening on the second Forcing cha Championship Series in uh, Alton, Illinois, at 5 p.m. start time. That's the first weekend of December. Oh no! Tulin Ramsey trips up Savannah Stone. She was going for a dive of sort, but look at this. Hops over. The top rope off of and landed on her own partner. She didn't. Knocked over Rain Victoria, but. Oh, shoot. Oh, no! Savannah Stone slingshot herself over the top. I thought she may have hurt herself doing that, but pops right back up. Well, she's hit face first on the apron. Savannah needs to tag out. She's hurting, I think. She's she's got to be hurting. What the heck tag rope is that? That's the longest tag rope I've ever seen. I just noticed how long the tag ropes are. <laughs> That's, that tag rope is like from the top rope down to the green ape. Now, the double team of Tempest thwarted. Renee breaks it up. Now, Ray Victoria. Digging the knee into the back of Tulin Ramsey while pulling her arms backward. Ramsey, however, trying to spin out of that. Still caught. Oh, finally gets a jawbreaker. And 
Ramsey needs to tag out. Kicks Rain Victoria down, but collapses. And Stone still trying to recover after taking that bump against the ring apron. Not even looking towards the action happening. She's not even looking in the direction of her partner. Rain tags in Savannah. She didn't even see it. Still hurting as uh, Brene tags herself in or gets tagged in. Savannah caught by supplies, gets taken down. Now Brene. Brene! What is she going for? Well, that wasn't. It had to be similar to Widow's Peak, not quite the same. She didn't hook the chin. And now, Brene has to hold the rain Victoria, form of a Death Valley driver. Can't cover her, she gets away. Savannah to the top, and Brene intercepts. Now Brene, has a hold of Savannah. Savannah doesn't have anywhere to go. There's a tag to Tootie. What's going on? What's going to happen? Side elbow into Savannah. But Rain Victoria is on the middle rope. Drop kick. Missile drop kick. These women are just tearing each other apart. And now Rain has a hold of Tootie. Rain. And now a double team. Flips her over. Who's the legal man? Well, who's the legal win? It doesn't matter. Savannah gets the pinfall. Referee had to have lost track of who the legal girls were, but all this coming in and out and doing damage to each other, this was a hard fought women's tag match. 11 minutes, 20 seconds, and the first team up of Rain and Savannah is successful. the frenemies made a statement and look at this and Savannah's not done with Tootie chokes her with the jacket and now he shoves Brene down golden unit being sore winners alright we're going to take a quick break we're going to take a look at the weekend schedule and beyond. Match on the program, and 
Here's the millennial Danny Adams and Danny Adams is in uh, more uh, favorable territory than where he normally appears at. Danny Adams has his fans here in uh, Brownstown support him. And now we're going to take a look at another new talent. James Brady, another uh, student out of the uh, Elgin Dojo. The rookie, James Brady, to take on. This is a veteran, at least five years. Danny Adams. Don't know much about James Brady. But, uh, shall be taking on the veteran. James Brady has only had a handful of matches so far. camera is moving around. Kind of walked in the door just as the show started and had to scramble. Get my uh, camera set up as I was taking the usual station here in Brownstown. Up in the stands. Having the bird's eye view. We're in Brownstown Junior Senior High School. As uh, James Brady extends the hand to uh, Danny Adams. And Danny Adams has some words with Mr. Brady. Fans here in Brownstown trying to fire this up. Bit of a divided crowd looks far. We thought it was solidly on Danny Adams' side, but Adams has not been the most uh, friendly of sorts the last couple of years. <laughs> hey, Adams. Waiting for uh, Brady to get a little serious here. Here we go. And Danny Adams grabs the front face lock as Brady tried to rush in and gets taken down to the mat. And Brady get, turns it around, grabs the arm. Adams rolls through, reverses the arm bar. He grabs the side headlock, takes him over. Next time you see these two men, you're most likely going to see them at Pro Wrestling Championship Series on December 2nd. They've both been uh, participating in uh, those events in Alton, Illinois. That's a 5 p.m. start time at the American Nation Hall. Wish you once again a happy Thanksgiving as uh, viewers in Springfield will be watching this on Access 4 on Thanksgiving Day. Those in uh, Champaign Urbana on late Wednesday night, just as the traveling is ongoing Wednesday night. Oh! And Danny Adams takes down James Brady hard. And Adams just toying with Mr. Brady. Arm drags him a couple of times and 
Denny Adams showing up the rookie here. James Bray has only been active a couple of months. Denny Adams has been active for at least, uh, getting, in, getting close to five years now. I'm guessing at this point. I don't know, I'm not sure when the first time I've uh, seen the Denny Adams wrestle, but uh, gotta be closing in on five years by now. And Brady, flying head scissors, and Denny Adams gonna go to the outside. And Brady! And right into the front row. Kai hits that. Lee's in the front row did not get out of the way as they had a couple of wrestlers in their laps. That's why I hate sitting in the front row. For to stay back a bit. I don't think anybody was expecting that. And James Brady now going up. Going up to the top. And Adams runs under him. And a boot to the face. Takes him down. Goes for the cover. And a two count. As I mentioned earlier, just MMWA on Saturday the 24th. Special... Uh, event in St. Louis. I believe that's for the veterans at 215 Military Road in the Lime area section of uh, St. Louis. WWE returning to Illinois and Bloomington on Sunday at the Grossner Motors Arena. Grossner Motors Arena has been having trouble trying to get acts to uh, perform there at that uh, building and apparently uh, certain I guess talent agencies have been uh, kind of trying to lock down so many acts that they have to uh, perform in a minimum size arena thus they don't come to Central Illinois they go to St. Louis or Chicago and forcing all of us to drive there that mare kicked to the back. That's why WWE is more often going to perform in Bloomington than, uh, let's say, a rock band or something. Brady charges the corner. Arm shot by Brady. Shoulder block. And Brady gets caught. Gets caught. Ego trip. That's the ego trap. And just a two count. Let's put people away. IWN limited to close running their Tuesday night events in Noble. Then the rest of the month, PWA, two weekends in a row, Springfield and Jacksonville on the second and third Saturday. AAW with its Last show in LaSalle on the 8th. And then WA in St. Louis on the 8th. Tier 1 Supreme in that tune on the 9th. That's a Sunday event. SICW in East Carindellet. Dymo Pro Wrestling in St. Louis on the 15th. Then uh, the last show of the year. Oh. Brady hops over. Brady! Damn's over across his back. There's a name for it and I slipped my mind. PWA 01 present Pro Wrestling for Sunday the 16th at the 8th Street Gym. That's the final show of the year for 2018. And then everybody just pretty much shut down until uh, after New Year's. Then we got to do the uh, year in review. And there's a power slam by Brady. Floats backward and only gets a two. What is James Brady gonna do to put away Danny Adams and get an upset victory here? All the members of the No New Friends faction. Brady charges the corner. 
Hales Adams with a farm shot and fires right back. Adams hops over the rookie. Half Nelson, German simplex. Running drop kick and Brady is down. Cover and only a two. And Adams thought he thought that would be enough to take him out. But the rookie is just not giving up just yet. Danny Adams waiting for Brady to get up. Grabs a hold of him. Gonna go for the rock pile, but no! Brady turned it over. And now the backcracker from James Brady. And goes to the cover. And Adams kicks out. Danny Adams refusing to concede. And this has been quite a back and forth matchup. James Brady picks up Adams and Adams breaks out of it. Brady tries for a close line, gets caught, pick up, oh wow! Good night. What was that? That beat him! Oh, that was a bit of a unique maneuver. Guess it may have caught him in the face with a knee doing on the way down. I have to look at that in replay. Adams is victorious in nine minutes, five seconds. All right, I have it queued up. I want to take a look at the replay at that uh, finisher that Danny Adams used to finish off Brady. Let's take a look at it in slow motion. Here he picks him up. Arm under the right shoulder, drops him. Jawbreaker, neck breaker combination against his uh, right shoulder. So the damage was done to the neck and the chin to finish off Brady and Adams. Trying to be a good sport. Offers a hand. And Brady refuses to shake. James Brady refuses to shake hands and just uh, slinks away. Well, that will do it for this edition of PWCI This Week. I am the Mad Conservative Crime Fighter. Enjoy your Thanksgiving dinner.